Hello everybody, <clears throat> Snake Doc back, and today what we're going to do is we're going to compare two pocket carry type options. So uh, we have a Taurus M85 or Model 85, this is the hammer version, double action, single action, 100% stock. And our other option will be the Walther PPS with the flush six round magazine. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a couple holster options. We're going to put them on the scale. We're going to weigh them with seven rounds of ammo, which would be your six plus one in this, and then your five rounds of ammo in the revolver. And then we'll get the calipers out and we'll do some um, measurements of thickness in the holster and things like that. So... Um, how about we get started by doing some individual weights? So let's see here. Let's put this on ounces. <clears throat> I'm going to do all the weights in ounces. <clears throat> so you should know that 16 ounces is a pound. So just do your division from there and we'll figure it out. So we have an unloaded Walther PPS with the six round magazine. We're going to put that on. That's 21.23 ounces, you can see that there. And then we're going to put the 7 rounds. This is 124 grain ammo right here. Um, my hollow points are upstairs in the safe, so I'm not going to go up and get those right now. I had these close by. So you can see that with the gun and the 7 rounds of ammunition, 24.27 ounces. So... The ammo alone is 3.03 ounces. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, next we'll do the M85 unloaded. And I will show you there that that is completely unloaded. So this is the steel frame version. They do make this in aluminum and they used to make titanium, but I don't know if they do anymore. And this is the five shot variant. So the revolver alone, 21 point. 8783 it keeps fluctuating between that 100 so that's odd 21.87 um, and then we're going to do five rounds of 158 grain hollow points 24.16 so 24.16 ounces Let's see just how much that ammo weighs just by itself. Uh, 2.29. So um, let's do. I'm going to show you now. I have uh, the the one of the carry methods that I use um, for this revolver is in this sticky holster, and this allows inside the waistband carry without a clip. And also you can um, put that in a jacket pocket or if you have some trousers with some deep pockets like a, a khaki style pant or a workwear pant, usually they have pockets that will accommodate this. Works great for that because this texture of this material just grabs the pocket and then when you go to do your draw, your revolver will come out without bringing the holster with it. Um, I did a video recently, I just made this holster out of a laundry jug. And this is a pocket carry option for the PPS. So you're not going to get any thinner than that. Um, let's see if that, I don't know if it's going to fit in this, but let's see. So it kind of fits in there. And you can see that um, this is sort of a padded material. And then it does have like a, a nylon um edging on there that's stitched on so it does add a little bit of thickness um, but it, it it's flexible so it, it'll squish in and conform whereas this is just razor thin I mean look at how thin those are um, so let's see with the calipers um, let's check on some widths And we're going to do this obviously at the widest part. So at the cylinder we have 
1.34 inches. And then uh, let's do a grip width. And there you can see the grip is 1.06 inches. And this is the factory uh, updated version. It's a really awesome grip. I shot this revolver yesterday uh, at the range. I put, I think, 35 rounds through it, so like seven reloads. And uh, amazing grip. It fits excellent in the hand. It's a two finger grip still. There is a little spot for the pinky if you can get. I let mine go underneath because there's really nothing right there. And it, it just works out great. It's, it's a fantastic factory option. Um, so we know that the, the PPS is, is going to be slimmer at, in the top portion, but there you can see we're at 0.97 on the grip. <clears throat> and the slide up top is 0.93. So this is definitely one of the slimmer options. Um, you're not going to get too much smaller in a, in a 9mm that carries 7 rounds. Uh, six rounds with that one in the chamber. So I think this is a little bit slimmer than the Glock 43. I would say that the only pistol that, besides like the Diamondback DB, would be the um, Car CM9 or um, whatever they, the higher version is, the PM9, I think. Um, so you have, you know, a couple different options if you want to go with a striker fire or a hammer fired semi auto. There is a chance that you could have a malfunction, um, which any any pistol could have a malfunction at any time. But um, when you're feeding from a magazine, you could have a magazine issue, you could have a failure to eject, a failure to feed, or a failure to fire. Um, whereas in a double action, single action revolver, um, with each trigger pull, the cylinder is going to rotate unless you have a bad piece of ammunition that's getting caught up on the frame or something like that. But um, reliability is inherent to a revolver, whereas striker fired is a quality striker fired is a good option. Um, sometimes these are just nice to, because that first double action pull is extremely heavy um, and it, it's it's a safe option and I just enjoy carrying a snub nose revolver it's super simple they slide in the waistband they're a super compact option with a barrel length that short most of your mass is right here in the center of it and then you just have this this nice little rounded off grip so they're super easy to conceal in a lot of different places plus you don't have a slide action to worry about to bring more chambers into it so you can fire these through your garment so if you had this in your jacket pocket say it's fall winter cool spring day and you needed to do it without presenting it um, it would be easier if you didn't have an exposed hammer because there is a chance with an exposed hammer that it could hang up in the garment. But let's just say that it won't um, because this mass is keeping the cloth off of it. You could just do a trigger pull and it will fire through. Such zero zero. He he did a he wrapped a t-shirt around his, uh, I think it was a Smith & Wesson 442, and he fired it through a t-shirt just to show that, you know, it's possible. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful, and I always appreciate you guys watching. So, shoot safe, and uh, look forward to seeing some comments.